this video, I'm going to teach concepts of thermochemistry by comparing the terms to something all of us know and love, Starbucks coffee. First, for a little background knowledge. Thermodynamics is the study of energy and its transformations. Thermochemistry is the study of the relationship between chemical reactions and energy. Then, there is the concept of system versus surroundings. The system is what is the focus of the study, and the surroundings are everything outside of the system. This is an important concept to be able to distinguish when working exothermic or endothermic problems because the answer is dependent on the changes. Systems that I will be comparing today are Starbucks coffee, coffee beans, and everyday heating devices. The surroundings can be things such as a stir stick, ice cubes, your hands, the atmosphere that exists around a cup of coffee, the lid, an oven, or a microwave. In an open system, energy and matter are exchanged. So when visualizing this, think of an open coffee cup in which both heat and water vapor leave the cup. In a closed system, energy can leave its heat, but matter in the system remains constant. So while the temperature inside the coffee cup may fluctuate, the mass of the coffee remains constant because the steam condensates on the inside of the lid and never leaves the coffee cup. In an isolated system, both energy and matter remain constant. If you were to put coffee into a thermos, this would be an isolated system because heat energy is not exchanged and matter cannot leave the thermos. In the first law of thermodynamics, the internal energy of an isolated system is constant. The energy of coffee in a thermos does not change because both heat and matter are captured by the thermos. Systems exchange energy through heat. As far as hot coffee goes, heat can leave a system through steam or by burning your hand. For an iced coffee, the ice melts as room temperature coffee is poured over it. The measure of heat added or taken away from a system can alter the change in energy. Systems also exchange energy through work. For a coffee-related system, stir sticks can do the work on the system and alter the change in energy. An endothermic reaction is one that absorbs heat energy. This influx of heat energy results in a positive enthalpy because heat is gained by the reaction. Coffee endothermic reactions can be observed in several different situations. First, during roasting, the coffee beans absorb the heat energy into their inner pores. Melting ice in room temperature or hot coffee is also an endothermic reaction. The ice absorbs the heat energy of the coffee, causing it to melt. Boiling or brewing coffee is endothermic because the coffee absorbs the heat energy produced from the coffee maker or stove or whatever heating apparatus you plan to use. Evaporation is endothermic because it is a phase change to a gas in which the coffee absorbs so much heat that it starts to evaporate. An exothermic reaction is one that gives off heat energy. The loss of heat results in a negative enthalpy. This is important to remember because it will trip you up on the test. Coffee exothermic reactions can be observed in several different situations. First is the roasting stage. When the coffee beans crack after reaching a certain temperature, they become exothermic and release the stored heat from their inner core. If you go to heat coffee in the microwave, the contents of the coffee cup absorb the heat energy endothermically. The microwaves release heat energy exothermically. So depending on which is the system and which is the surrounding, your enthalpy value may change. The process of making a frappuccino or a freezing coffee is also exothermic. This is confusing to some, but freezing is exothermic because heat is being taken away from the system, which is the same as the system releasing its own heat. Suppose that an endothermic chemical reaction occurs inside of an insulated container which allows no heat to enter or leave the system, which statement is true. I like to think about this question like it's a coffee with a ground still in it. Imagine the coffee grounds absorbing the heat from the coffee it's immersed in. The temperature inside the container would decrease as the temperature of the coffee grounds would increase. The answer choice would be A, because it says the temperature of the contents of the container decreases. A system has 25 joules of heat added to it, and at the same time it does 45 joules of work on the surroundings. 
what is the change in the internal energy of the system? So the change in internal energy is equal to heat plus work. In this problem, 25 joules of heat is added to the system. So the Q value is positive 25 joules. The system itself does 45 joules of work on its surroundings. So the W value, or the work value for this, would be negative 45 joules. You'd have 25 joules minus 45 joules. This leaves you with negative 20 joules in total. This would be the change in internal energy. Answer choice D would be the correct answer. Which of the following processes is exothermic? A. Ice melting. B. Water evaporating. C. Ammonium theocyanate and barium hydroxide mixing at 25 degrees Celsius when they react the temperature drops. D. Sublimation of dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide. Or E. Condensation of water vapor. For A. When ice melts, the ice absorbs the heat from its surroundings. This would be an endothermic reaction, so A is not the correct answer. For B, when water evaporates, it absorbs so much heat that it changes from a liquid or solid to a gaseous state. It would also not be the correct answer. For C, the last part of this answer choice is the one that's important. If a reaction results in a lower temperature, the reaction has absorbed heat, which is endothermic. This is also incorrect. For D, sublimation is a change from a solid to a gaseous state. This would be an absorption of heat. That would be endothermic and also incorrect. E, as the last answer choice, is condensation of water vapor. Water vapor in the gaseous state and condensation is in the liquid state. This phase change shows a release of heat as an exothermic reaction. E would be the correct answer. Thank you.